Faye Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a giraffe. And this project is a special project for Ms. Blyer's kids in her classroom. We're going to come right here in the middle and we're going to take one finger and underneath we're going to put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw towards the right a curved line down and up. Come back to the dot, curve line down and up. Come back to the right, we're going to draw a big curve line up and out. Come to the left, we're going to draw another big curve line out and in. Come back to the right hand side and we're going to draw a curve line down and over and stop. Come to the right hand, whoops, right hand side and we're going to draw a curve line down, over and stop. We come back to the right hand side up on top and we're going to draw a curve line out, curve line in, connect, and come to the left hand side and we're going to draw a curve line out, in, connect. Now I come back up to these little humps right here and I'm just going to draw straight line, curve line, straight line down, connect, on the left, come on the right straight line up, curve line, straight line down, connect. Okay, we come over to the left and we're going to draw a curve line on the left, come over to the right, curve line on the right. I go back to the left and right here where we started I'm just going to draw a curve line up, connect on the left, and now come over to the right hand side, this side, we're going to draw a curve line up, connect. Right here in the center, I draw a slightly curved line down on the left, slightly curved line down on the right. Come over here on this left hand side and we're going to draw a curve line over. We're going to draw a little curve line up, down, connect on the left little curve line up, down, connect on the right. Starting right about here we're going to draw a big curve line up, over and connect. Coming on the left hand side right about here we draw a straight line down, 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 down all the way to the edge of our paper. Come on the right hand side we're going to draw a straight line down, 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 keep going to the edge of our paper. Now we come back in and we're going to draw curve lines and these can be any kind of little curve line connects because these are his markings. So you fill in this space with all kinds of curve line, curve line, connect, curve line, curve line, connect. We're going to work our way up, curve line, curve line. Some of these, look, we're going to connect to the sides. I'm going to fit another one here, maybe a bigger one here, and they are all different kinds of shapes as long as their curve line connects. Put one right up here. Now I come back up here on the right hand side and I draw a curve line out and then wavy, wavy, wavy line connect on the right, come on the left, curve line out, wavy, wavy, wavy line connect on the left. Okay. Now let's see if I got everything I think I did. Let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is color in these little tufts up here. I don't know exactly what they are. I think they're cartilage, but they're little bony things, like little um, horns almost. And those are going to be black. Then I color the outside of my ears. I'm going to color these black. And this is mainly so I can see what I'm doing because once we start coloring him in he's kind of almost the same color. 
I'm going to do my eyes black. These are his eyes. I'm going to do my nose black. And now I'm ready to double color. The two crayons colors you're going to need is yellow and brown. Now what I'm doing is I'm putting down a layer of yellow. And I do it in my loop-de-loop -loop around, around, around. And I color around my nose, my eyes, and my markings. So I'm going to go ahead and color around the markings with my yellow. Now if you have peach or tan or any kind of light brown, you can use that. But yellow is the easiest and probably the most accessible for everybody. So I'm going to do yellow. But then I take my brown. And first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to color in my markings. Those are all the spots. Well, they're not really spots, but they're these curve line, curve line, connect sections. These should all be brown all the way down. Take your time, which I'm not doing, but take your time. Color them in nice. Once you've got these all colored in, then you take your brown and you go lightly over everything that you colored yellow. And that's to kind of give you a texture and also a tan look. Not real dark because you don't want to kill it. But take your crayon, your brown, and lightly go over all the yellow, all the way down. Okay? It also gives you a little bit of texture because he is fur. Then, because I was thinking of him being in the in Africa and they have those bright blue skies, I took a turquoise blue crayon and I just drew some blue stripes in the background. Now I think these would look fabulous with a whole herd. So if you've got a classroom, you can make a whole herd of giraffes. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here's my giraffe all colored in. Once again, hi to Miss Blyer's kids. And, um, bye-bye.